Hello everyone, this is Plip, and this is the first video on my series on modding Minecraft. And today I'm going to show you how to install mods, basic mods on your game in Windows 7. Now in Windows 7 you're going to need a program called a file manager, and I use 7-zip. There's a lot, which there will be a download link in the description. There's lots of other things you can use though, there's lots of archive managers. It's not just 7-zip, but that's just what I've always used, and so that's what I've linked you to. Um, I, I've downloaded a bunch of mods already. Uh, we're only going to install planes and guns, just for the sake of time, but um, there's lots of other ones that you can get, and they're all installed basically in the same way. Now, as you can see, these were all downloaded in zips, and I've already gone ahead and unzipped all of them, which you'll need to do, because otherwise 7-zip will not be able to copy them into your jar file. So what you're going to want to do is go to Run, search in the search bar, it won't be there like it is in Windows XP, then do percent sign app data percent sign like that, hit OK, it'll take you to your roaming app data folder and you want to click Minecraft, then bin, and then you'll see Minecraft and it'll say executable jar file. What you want to do is just go here, open with 7-zip file manager, and as soon as that comes up, here it is. Now we're going to need this later, so just leave it open. What you want to do now, um, all mods pretty much require the use of mod loader, so that's what we're going to install first. Um, you just take all these files, these dot class files, and put them right into your jar, just like that. It's as simple as that. And now we have mod loader. Then mod loader MP is for playing online using. Um, mods and in the next video I'll show you how to install server mods then we want to get to planes this one's a little bit different because you see it has jar files and resource files two different things in jar files it's just like last time copy every whoops copy everything that's in there and drop it right in your jar including the folders but with resource files it's a little bit different because you have to go back to your dot minecraft folder and just take this and drop it into resources and the answer is yes and do this for all current items and do this for the next 14 conflicts and there you have it so now we go to guns World War II guns jar files same deal take it put it right in the jar then resource files whoops there will be a IR I just did a bad video there will be a folder in here so I already copied it but there will be a folder in here that also says uh, mod and you do the exact same thing just drag it into resources now uh, we are also going to need audio mod for the Um, for the planes mod and the guns mod and you're also going to need turbo model thingy just drop it all in there and now theoretically you should have a modded minecraft so let's load it up and see how it works alright now go log in and it appears as though my Minecraft mod did not work. Now this is probably because I did not do one thing that is very important. Run app data Minecraft bin. When you mod your jar every single time open with file manager you must make sure that you delete the file labeled meta inf you must delete it or your mod will not work. And now, hopefully, unless there's something else that's wrong with it, we should actually be able to load Minecraft. There it goes. Log in.
And here we go. Oops, not multiplayer. I'm so used to doing that. We'll go here. I don't know what world this is. I haven't played single player in so long. Yeah, yeah, building terrain. Lots of fire. I'll just try to make a biplane wing. If the mod worked, we should be able to. If it didn't, it won't. Although usually if your mod doesn't work, you're not going to be able to start the game at all. Um, so it's pretty safe to say that if we're this far, it's probably working. And sure enough, there it is. So there you have it. That's how you basically mod your game. Um, it's not too complicated, and there's lots of other mods that you can find and install. So thanks for watching, and feel free to watch the rest of my series, which will be coming soon. So thanks for watching.